The president has declared a national emergency in order to get funding to build his border wall. If you, governor, become president, will you declare a national emergency to fight climate change? I would first work with Congress because the best way to do this is to build a national consensus and work with Congress to get that job done. But you won't now, pull it out. No, you can't. No, if the rules change in the United States democratic process, no president, R or D, can rule out the use of whatever the rules are. Live by the sword, die by the sword. That was Jay Inslee, the governor of Washington and a candidate for president in 2020, showing what Democrats could do with the power that Donald Trump is exercising with his national emergency declaration. Senator Rand Paul citing this precedent as his reason for supporting the Democratic resolution to block the declaration. That bill has already passed the House and is expected to be voted on in the Senate next week. Senator Rand Paul joins fellow GOP senators Susan Collins, Tom Tillis, and Lisa Murkowski in rebuking the president, meaning the resolution would clear the 51 vote threshold to pass, forcing Trump to, ve to issue the first veto of his presidency. And Paul Warren, they may, there may be even more defections from the GOP. I will vote uh, for the motion to disapprove of this, and I will continue to speak out. I do believe that there is uh, at least 10 Republican no votes. We'll see, possibly more. So the Republicans stand for anything, enough, they'll all vote no. I mean, I remember this the hue and cry when President Obama took some executive action. They lost their freaking minds. They lost their minds, and it wasn't something that had repeatedly failed Congress. And so if Rand Paul, look, Donald Trump made a promise. He was going to build a wall. Mexico was going to pay for it. And then Mexico is like, not paying for it. And then he's like, everyone's going to pay for it. I'm like, no, we're not going to pay for it. And so now he's going to take money, wants to in this action, take money from other agencies where money has been properly appropriated to go and build his wall. Anyone who is not against this is insane. The, he's been very quiet, Trump, in the last, since this is the real, this? really interesting, through his entire wall fight, his imaginary wall, no matter what step of the way he's huffing and puffing, he has stopped huffing and puffing. It's interesting. When, it first, when Congress first passed it, and now this, all of a sudden you don't hear him talking about the wall anymore. It's interesting. What's going on? Well, I mean, I think that there's, there's, you could see the ambivalence from the president when he declared the national emergency and he did that press conference in the Rose Garden. He was talking about, well, I'm going to get sued and then it's going to go to the courts. And, you know, he was singing about his, <laughs> his you know, music, what was me. He could hear. But, but this is interesting. I mean, I think he doesn't want to have to, you know, veto this, this vote and, and be at odds with his own party, um, but he'll do it. And I think the White House is secure that they won't be able, the Senate, to override the veto. And so at the end of the day, they just care about, about winning. Uh, and I think it's uncertain what happens in the courts. Is well, I, no, but I, I think that, you know, the legal people that you talk to, there is some concern. Nobody knows what the courts will rule on the emergency declaration ultimately. And I think if, if there's the broader the consensus is in the Senate, uh, the I think greater the odds I that think Trump that has a new piece of red meat and the Democrats are handing it to him in the last few weeks with the AOC stuff yeah. and the Green Deal. He, he's a heat seeking missile. He understands that one simplified issue and his simplified issue is they're going to take your cars away, your planes away. Socialist versus me. He's peeling away from the wall slowly because there's a new piece of red meat for him out there. But if his wall is deemed illegal, if he stood for anything, it was you know, the, the brand became by Election Day, grab him in the bleep, build the wall, and I, Donald J. Trump, will ban all Muslims from entering the United States. This is one of the three pillars upon which, heaven help them, his voters selected him. That and the image of success. That was the thing he always told is, I'm, I'm a successful businessman and I can get this done, these things I'm promising you, the wall being one of them. And if at the end of the day he doesn't get it done, that's a very real problem for his voters. That said... I'm not sure he actually, at the end, really wants the wall. He wants the issue. And if the wall, you know, if the wall is blocked by the courts and he, has to, he gets to come back to Congress, he gets to you know, say that Democrats block this and judges block this, then he gets the issue. If the wall is built, he doesn't have anything to complain what about anymore. What was a anymore. losing proposition because in the 2018? And it was a lo he lost that popular vote in the midterms by 9%, and he ran on the caravan and the wall. So I just think he's looking to kind of tiptoe away. Let, let, okay, we, we have to see it, but let, let me get all of you to make a prediction. How long until he says, we don't need a wall, because under my presidency, 
Illegal crossings, <laughs> illegal crossings, and this is actually a real fact, Mr. President, are down to 40 year lows. How long? You know, one month, two months, next year's State of the Union? I'm going with next year's State of the Union. July. That's so great. That's a um, fact. I mean, I know they don't I, like facts. I just facts. think he'll, he'll use a new word for it. It's, it's a wall. It, this, this, we're, more it just, slats. It's a. The Trump barrier that people are afraid to come into the country. You it's know, it's really I mean? a metaphor. Yeah. How long? Well, we've How already long? seen the sleight of hand. It was build the wall, and then it became finish the wall, as if any right. construction had taken place when it actually hasn't. And so he's good at sort of convincing folks. But you know, he's got 90 percent approval from Republicans without delivering on this promise. Right. Uh, so I think uh, when he looks at that, he can feel fairly secure. Uh, illegal crossings actually dramatically increased in February, in almost February doubled from did, January. Right. So given the fact that it would be a lie to say that now, he'll probably say it tomorrow. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.